Yo, 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 what's going on, man? Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you be notified every time I upload. Um, can't thank you guys enough for showing up for me, man. I'm we on the road to 2,000 subscribers, man. I just, you know, uh, can't thank you guys enough. Um, I do not know because when you do a video under a one minute on uh, fan, uh, uh, YouTube, I don't know if you you get notified as a subscriber. That's why I always say hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Yesterday, I did do it. It's called, they call YouTube Shorts. So I did do a short yesterday. I don't know if you get notified. It was kind of quick. I said, let me hurry up and try to get this out. Did a quick one minute video, uh, dropped the ticket. Uh, it didn't, uh, it was a five pick. I mixed it up too. So I did a two pick and I did a five pick, but the five pick ended up missing by one. And I did a two pick, and I still end up picking the win, the uh, the uh, 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 the loser in the two pick. But that's neither here nor there. My thing is, whenever I do a video, whenever I do anything, show you a ticket. The thing, should, I'm always under. I, I I like to say, take what you like, because that ensures yourself that you know that ensures me and you that you've done some research and you like what you've picked. And that's how it should go. Not just me, wh wh whoever you get anything from. Take what you like. Take what you like. That means you like something, all right? So that's neither, I mean, no, that is here or there. I was going to say that's neither here or there, but the today's slate is not one that I don't, I mean, I do not like. I, I don't I don't like today's slate. I wasn't even going to re record, but I'm on my way out the door to work. I say, hey, let me drop something, man, because um, you're all my people, man, you know? So... Right off the back, uh, let me see if my mic, because I just rambled off. Is my mic and shit going or what? Yeah, my mic looks like it's good to go. All right, so um, let's start off with um, just a couple of points I want to talk about. Nothing spectacular. You can see this shit is not even, I haven't even warmed it up. I just jumped up here to freestyle. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, it's still on from last night's shit. Uh. Okay, so what do we got here? Mm. Okay, um, Toronto Blue Jays. We got over under nine and a half in this spot here. Oops, before I go any farther, prize picks, man. If you're new to this channel, I do do prize check picks, uh, make prize free picks and things of that nature. Um, they do sponsor my channel. If you need any, it's a it's a it's a dope, dope, dope site. Uh, for all my DFS players, yes, I do play DFS. I am from, you know, that's where I come from, DFS, you know, eight, ten years. Either way it goes, you can mix and match, yada, yada, yada. I might come out with some um, uh, with some uh, NFL preseason uh, prize picks, player props. That's why I say I really need you guys to subscribe and hit the notification bell because when I upload something, because I'm going to be uploading content throughout, because we're going to be dealing with two sports, NFL and M MLB. I mean, I am. And if I put, I, 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 you know, it's going to be throughout the day. And if I upload some content, boom, I need people to gravitate to it. I'm trying to figure out to make my podcast a little bit shorter. But, you know, that's, that is what it is. It is what it is. So uh, Toronto Blue Jays at Baltimore or is over under nine and a half in this spot here. And, uh, you know, Toronto Blue Jays are minus 138 favorites here. Um, I was looking at the strikeout prop for Kikuchi here. Um, his strikeout prop is sitting at five and a half, I believe, four and a half. Um, you know, I, I you know, I, I did a parlay, an alternate parlay with a, a strikeout parlay, but that, I'll get to that. It's only plus 100, so it is what it is. But um, I've... I'm about to probably sprinkle some on it. He's hit this number... Uh, uh, five out of his last six games. Um, you know, this Baltimore team, okay, versus lefties in general, they strike out at uh, uh, the seventh worst in the league. So they're like number seven at striking out. So that's pretty good. But at home, they bump up to like number four. It's probably like a 26 point or 28 percent versus lefties. 27.6 versus versus lefties. Um, not an official play, but I'm definitely going to take a stab at it. On prize picks, you'll probably get this for, let's see what the strikeouts. Where is this strikeout number is? Five. He's got to go over six. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, he's got to get six to catch, five to push. Uh, so that it is what it is. Um, I end up taking it. It's a shitty slate. Don't take nothing into, I mean, it is what it is, all right? 
Uh, I did a three pick here on the strikeout, so I'll show you guys in one second as we get to it. Um, so uh, on the other, on the back end, I do like I do like um, Toronto Blue Jays to win this game. I just got I'm just got I'm just rolling with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. This slate is not one of my favorite slates. Trust and believe me, these are not official picks, but you know uh, I couldn't you know I couldn't resist the, uh, the I mean I don't mind the 138. It was a little bit. Uh, better than that the number we did get a number one, a little bit better than that but uh undecided if i was wanting to go with the first half or anything of that nature so uh i did uh remix it a little bit drop the uh get that 38 cent off of that uh see if you have the uh, luxury of using fando sports but then you could do this i mean even if I, I i dropped that up there i got a minus 122 but i went with the four and i show you the 4Ks and the win came out to a plus uh, 111. So uh, with this lineup that the Blue Jays are running out, I mean, I just like it. Uh, of course, they've been selling, selling hard lately, man. They've been selling hard. Now, uh, Lyles, all right? I do like this Blue Jays lineup here. Um, one play that one play that one one play that is in play for me for Lyles. Uh, it's going to be the walks allowed. Okay, you're gonna skid it at one and a half. I just think this lineup is dangerous. This, this Baltimore, I mean, this uh, Toronto lineup is dangerous dangerous enough for him to at least pull out a few walks for us. He's hit a few walks frequently throughout this season, including last time he played against Toronto. He had two walks, five point one innings, uh, pitched seven strikeouts and four earned runs. Uh, so um, he's had two walks or better and. Three of his last four games. I think this. I think there's a pathway where, uh, you know, Jordan Lyles can hit the over on those two walks. So if you like that, uh, be my guest. All right, just you know, just something. Um, let me see something as far as outs, outs, outs. Y'all know outs are like my favorite. Some of my favorite uh, plays here, and they don't have him listed. Okay, they don't have him listed. All right, so. Um, I ain't going I ain't gonna waste no more time because let me hurry up and try to get this video out. Now, uh Cincinnati Reds at uh New York Mets here. We got an over under nine in this spot here. All right. Uh, for me, it's uh we got Dunn on the mound, we got Bassett on the mound. It's going to be uh 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 um New, uh, New York New York Mets or uh, nothing for me. All right, it's gonna be a money nine parlays, run last straights. I can't even bet the straight right now, but I did, I'll tell you what I took last night. I took the first half, all right? I took the first half result, all right? You don't know what result is? Result is uh, uh, it, you, you you have to win, all right? So money line, first half, mo first half money line, you could get a push in this situation. But first half result is similar to, uh, uh, let me see, it's similar to a um, minus a half where uh, you have to win. It's no push, and and you can also bet the tie. All right, so the tie is plus six six fifty. All right, so you can also bet the tie. So I took took, and you can also add the first half result to a same game parlay, and that's what I did. Result, and then um, I went over here to the strikeouts. E, excuse me, it's the strikeouts here, uh, and I took um, I took. Uh, I took uh, five strikeouts for um, for uh, now I got this at early plus money uh, last night. Last night when I should have did the video, man, but uh, I didn't. So uh, I got this at plus money. So uh, it's at minus one fourteen right now. So uh, I mean it is what it is. At minus one fourteen, I took the first half, and uh, even if you want to get to which I did not get to it, I did not bet it, but. If you want to get to a one and a half full game and five strikeouts, that'll get you plus money. I did not bet this. So, you know, uh, I might end up betting it, you know, sprinkling a little something on it just to have, make my day fun. But, yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, this this Cincinnati team, they, 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 you know, in the last 30 days, they're 10th with striking out versus righties uh, on the road at, with a 24.8 uh, strikeout percentage. There, um, you know, uh, Bassett, you know, he has upside on the strikeout. So if you want to ladder him, be my guest. Uh, he's in the area. He has strikeouts in the area of four, two versus Miami in six innings and, uh, you know, 11 versus San Diego, six versus Atlanta. 
Um, did he pitch against this team lately? No, he has not. Now, I do like outs here, okay? So, as far as the outs concerned, 18.5 uh, for Bassett is in play for me. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, he's, hit, he's, he's hit this number two out of his last three games and three out of his last five. Well, uh, four, five, six, one, two, let me see. One, two, mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six out of his last eight games. So, uh, outs are definitely in play here. All right. So, um, you got to get outs. I, 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 I like the outs there. All right. I like the outs. I like the outs. Okay. Okay. So, keep it moving. Keep it moving here. Um, keep it moving here. Um, Washington Nationals and Chicago Cubs. I do I do not want to I do not want to run up on this game here. I do not. Uh, these Washington Nationals they just don't strike out, right? Like, come on, man. Like, who who who, who man? Come on, man. They just don't strike out. I just really want to touch on this four. I really want to uh, for a fan of the sports book. I really want to take four piece for these guys, and you know I really do. I ain't gonna lie. I really 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 do. You know what I'm saying? That's a plus one on nine. If you like that, go ahead. I'm still, I'm still, um, and I'm still, I'm still thinking about it, man. I really wanted to take a four for these guys for sure, but uh, I don't have anything for that game. It's just something I, I really wanted to take a gamble on, a uh, four and four. Um, San Francisco Giants at um, uh, um, San Diego Padres. We got an over under seven and a half in the spot here, um, and right off the back, um, I'm going to back San Diego Padres in this spot here. Um, with Snell on the mound, uh, you know Snell has gotten better as the uh, as the uh, as the season progressed. Uh, the strikeouts have been there for him, you know. Uh, right now, the uh, San Francisco Giants in La Giants in the last thirty days, um, damn, the numbers they striking out. <clears throat> they're around the middle of the pack at like fifteen. They striking out at twenty two point six percent. Right there, you know, you know, you know, they average it around 250, you know. So, I mean, they've been, been been okay versus lefties, man. So, if you want to tip your expectations, uh, uh, that's 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 be my guess right there. I'm going to take them, uh, I'm going to take them in the first half. Uh, pretty, I'm undecided right now on how I want to do it, but I'm, I'm thinking about going with the result, tell you the truth, at the minus 125, that's straight up. I'm really, really thinking about taking the first half for uh, San Diego Padres here. Uh, yep, that's what I'm really, really thinking. I'm just hoping for a strong, you know, come out for somebody like uh, um, um, Bassett. Uh, he hasn't allowed over two runs in, let me see, one, two. He, he's allowed over two, over one run uh, once in this last one, two, three, four, five, six games, okay? Yeah, his last six game, he's he's only allowed over one run once. Now, uh, versus this, uh, he hasn't pitched versus this. Oh, he did per, pitch versus this San, uh, San Francisco team on the eighth, and he had eleven strikeouts, one earned run. That was all, you know, in that in that in that time span there. All right, so, you know, I can't talk you off of strikeouts, or K's, whatever case may be. Anything for this guy here, um, you know. Because if I I'll tell you like this, if I do like his case, then I might be leaning towards his outs. But I think his outs are put at a little bit too much for me. Um, sitting at um, well, all right, hey, it's seventeen and a half. Hey, I don't mind that. I mean, he's hit it three out of his last five, and like I said, you know, if he gets, if I think he's gonna get six Ks or something like that, then I'll have to look gravitate towards his outs. So his his, his strikeouts are sitting at. Seven, I believe. Seven. So I ain't going there, but I'm telling you this, man. If I like his strike outs, and this is gonna be a little later on for me on prize pictures. If I like his, his seven strikeouts, then I'm forced to like the outs. Okay, so <sighs> help me out on this one, guys. Help me out. But you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to go towards the uh the outs. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, uh, I'm not going to put it on the board yet. I still got plenty of time to think about it. I don't think that's going to be moved because I think if it was going to be moving, then they probably would have moved already. Uh, so there you have that. Um, just a few plays that I don't mind getting to here. Um, Oakland Athletics and, uh, and, and, and 
Los Angeles Angels at Oakland Athletics. Here we got an over under seven and a half. And uh, not a fan of this game outside of for strikeouts. And I'm pretty much undecided there. I, you know we like to target the Los Angeles uh, for strikeouts. But it seems as though Irvin just can't get over four strikeouts. Like, come on, bro. I mean, man. He, his last outing versus this team, he went six innings. Um, he had he had he had four strikeouts. He's won six innings or better in every game, but four. Uh, no, he, he it was a decent amount of games, but he won six innings or better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven games straight. All right, so that's one thing he got working on him, uh, working for him. Um, he's only been over four strikeouts of only a, like twice, man, two or three times. So he just loves to live in that four area. You know, I'm okay with getting to four in the same game, par in, in, in a parlay or something for him. You know, on the flip side, uh, Suarez, um, he is somebody I was looking at for walks. Unfortunately, uh, prize picks don't have him out for walks over here. So, you know, in other spots, uh, Drag Kings, I've seen him at four walks. And uh, that's something I don't, uh, I don't mind getting to. I mean, no, at three walks. Oh, Suarez, two walks. Okay, I like that. I like that. I mean, he's had two walks or better in three of his last four games. And, uh, yeah, it's like every time, it's almost as if, you know, every time he uh, he uh, he walks somebody, it's going to be two. But it's a lean. I ain't, I like it. It's a lean. I probably won't put it up there, though. Uh, I don't even know if this, you know, this Oakland team is dangerous enough. Like I said, his last start was versus Oakland. He did give him two walks. So, you know, that's a lean right there, guys. That's a lean. You know, you like it, you know, take a stab at it, man. You like it, take a stab at it. Uh, I just wish wish I had more confidence in Irvin going over four strikeouts, man. You know? But we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Uh, that's just, you know what we've been doing? We've been eating good off these guys all year long uh, in the strikeout category. I, I want to eat, but I, I, you just can't be greedy. And if 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 I fade if I fade Irvin and he gets six seven strikeouts, guess what? I don't even care, man. You know. So that's all I really wanted to talk about in this game. I mean, I have nothing for the Pittsburgh game. I have nothing for a Seattle game. Yeah, if you know we tag, target Pittsburgh for strikeouts. I do think Gallon's supposed to, you know, I think he's he's supposed to have a decent game here. But you know, I ain't, I ain't I ain't even finna stress it. You know, I'll be looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I did a chalky parlay which came out to about two thirty eight. I took uh, uh, Toronto. I took New York all on the money line and just sprinkled a little uh, lunch money on there. Uh, I took uh, Toronto, uh, New York, and uh, the giant uh, uh, the Padres. Sprinkle some lunch money on there. Got that for plus. What is it? For some reason, I have to scroll all the way down here to get my odds. Plus 238, okay, for that three-leg parlay. I, I got to figure out what's going wrong with that. Why is it doing that? But either way it goes. With that being said, guys, oh, that, that alternate uh, uh, um, that alternate um, strikeout prop that I did do, I think it was three legs for plus one, one, 115 or something. Let's see. Just in case you guys got uh, – um, FanDuel Sports. So I took four for Kikuchi. I wanted to put something up there for uh, Lyles, but I didn't. So I took four for Kikuchi. Um, Bassett, I took five. And I'm not putting a lot of money on none of this, guys. None of this. It's just something to look at, uh, to check my phone for while I'm at work. I took five for uh, Bassett, and then I took... Uh, mm, <laughs> yeah, man, I took four. I took four for uh, Irvin, you know, so uh, let's get it. You feel me? Um, that right there, oh, shit, I got to scroll. That right there came out to a plus 140. Um, it is what it is, man. Four, five, four. All right, rack it on up, guys. I I, did, I could take that basset out if I want to. It just stuck with that. Uh, uh with the two uh, at, plus, at, at minus 119 at four and four for Irvin. But, you know, it is what it is. Peace, guys. Good luck, man. Uh, make sure you throw on those notifications, man. Make sure. I might do some preseason today. Peace.